Hi there. I wanted to show you really quick how you can fix the tables so that they don't have the vertical lines in them, which a lot of um, people have a, it, it seems tricky, but it's actually very doable. So let's just do a practice run. I've got my SPS window open and race, for example, has a few different categories where we can come up with, a, we would want to run a frequency table with it. I wanna make sure that I have my labels so that the one, the two, and the three have been assigned to something. So I don't just end up with ones, twos, threes, and I'll show you where that is. So I look at my value labels, I have those. I can look in the column here for missing and it says zero is, is missing data, which is great because it is missing data. So I check those two things, perfect. Then I'm gonna go to analyze. I'm gonna go to descriptive tables, frequencies, and I'm gonna run race. Another little hint, if you want, it's a little bit easier, is I can right click in here and I can say display variable names instead of their labels. So that will match then my, my column of names. But I'm gonna click on race. I'm gonna shoot it over here. The statistics I want, well, um, it is a nominal variable, so I want mode. That's about it there. Um, and then let's say I want a chart, maybe I want a bar chart of their frequencies. Perfect, perfect, I'm gonna click okay. Now my output window is gonna pop up and I'm gonna get, here's my mode. The mode will always come up with the category number and the code number, not the actual name. But we can see that my frequencies came up with the actual name, perfect. And we can see that my uh, chart, my bar chart came up with the actual names of the three categories. So I remember that's why those value numbers, those value labels were there. Um, but let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and just right click this. I'm gonna click on copy. And I'm gonna make this less big. Put this over here. I'm gonna go to my Word document and I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna paste it. So I've now pasted it. Now, what I can do when I'm in here, I can get rid of that background of gray. I can go into my font. I can say the background should be no color. Well, I still didn't remove it. I might have to go into the paint can. Oops. All right, one more time, I'm gonna highlight everything. I go into paragraph, I'll go into the paint can. I always forget if it's the paint can or the font. And say no color. Hmm. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. Tell you, I'm glad I could help. Paragraph, I'm gonna go into the paint can and hit no color. Huh, it just wants me to do them one at a time. I guess it wants me to do it one at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna do these one at a time. I will turn them into no color. All right, so now I've removed all the extra color. I can take this lower, but the lower right and I can pull out I can move my columns and size them. They were actually already in pretty good, pretty good size. But if you need to, you can do that. And then I can highlight everything. Go into paragraph. And this little box right here that's got the square. Um, we want to click that open to see all the options. And here's one that says no border. So I'm going to click on no border. Boy, oh boy, I don't know why this is being. There we go. I click on no border. I now have no borders anywhere. I can then go back to the top row where I've highlighted only the top row. Go back to that same little box and click on bottom line. Now I have a bottom line. I can go to the bottom row. So it's gonna high, it's gonna put a line wherever the top or the bottom of the, the highlighted area is. So I can do this and again click bottom line. And I now have the two bottom lines. I can do probably this one with all of these, with all of the, 
the headings. And I'm going to click on top line for this one. So I can kind of separate out the top border. And I can see there's a little bit of extra space. Let's scoot this up. So that's the easiest way that I've ever learned to be able to adjust the lines in a table to match with APA formatting. Um, the other thing that you can do for aesthetics is when you are in your output window where everything has come to you, if you're interested in changing this, you double click on it and a new window will pop up. Again, I can double click right on the blue column with the, the information in it. Whoops, let me move my little frame here. And I can click on fill and border and I can change that. I can click where the background of the actual chart is and I can change. Well, that's gonna be really hard to see. We'll do a light lavender there and apply that. I can also click on the words and I can change the font size. Uh, I can make them bold, italicized, so I can play with the font. I can click on these fonts. You can see these are highlighted, so it's letting me know what it is that I'm about to alter. I can change the actual font to something else. They have a lot of them. I don't know many of these. Let's change that to Georgia. So you can see that you're allowed to, you have the capability of changing a few things. Um, and then when you're done and you go, oh, wow, this is perfect. This is what I want. You just exit out of it and it shoots it into your output. You can then copy, we make that small and paste onto your Word document. Hopefully that helps. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.